they all red? <laughs> red lighting. Are we ready? Um, yes. <laughs> ah, yes, indeed. We our heroes, after all, need to stop that. That's true. No point in saving it. If you don't save it properly. Two groups. Something's waiting for us. Welcome. Hello, loser. You missed our dinner date. I'll deal with you in a moment. Sarah. Oh, don't you look radiant. I was afraid I'd left scars. I'm glad you're dressing like the tramp I always knew you were inside. Where's the secretary? I can see why you wanted to keep her around. She worth the price? Every penny. What are you talking about? You like my new digs? I heard you trashed your ride and sold the agency. Mm. Hard times, Sylvester? Something like that. But not fun, is it? Living on the cheap. How much money do you need? As much as I can get. I think we can work something out. But understand one thing. I own you. That's right, sweetie. I'm your benefactor. You owe your digitization. Your existence to me. She doesn't care, Detta. We're here for the stone. I'm not giving it to you. Then we're taking it. You're welcome to try. Right, if I remember correctly, those mechanics repair him. <laughs> So it might be a good idea to try to take those out. Um, no mistake. Mechanics taken out. Now, I don't know if he respawns them somehow, but we'll see. Yeah, let's do that. left 
That was actually pretty easy. I thought that was going to take longer. Surprise! Although, of course, this isn't the real death of the spider. It's a revolution, Sylvester. Anyone can go from a nobody to a somebody with the right slag of Mistech. This isn't about our little street feud anymore. It's about our future. Future, huh? You want to know the difference between you and the you five minutes ago? The you five minutes ago had five minutes to live. Oh, right. I was a bit confused there. So now we do have our mystic and we're going to try using it. So I'm actually going to... See, I kind of forgot how this boss fight works. I forgot you get straight pulled into the second part of it. So I hope I didn't screw myself. Uh, maybe some healing, eh? Right. Uh, is complete. And... Uh, yeah, might as well heal the other one as well. Now I wonder, because he's got this mystic shield, does it still mean he gets hasted when I cast mystic on him? I hope it does. It's not going... Oh well, we'll see. Slow him down, freeze him, slow him down. Next round, I'm going to see if their special skills are any good or if I should just stick to the mistake. I don't know. I remember having some serious problems with these ba this battle the first times I've tried. But we'll see. Oh, that's why it keeps healing back up. Let's see if this does anything at all. Oh wow. Yeah, that was that was that was good. Uh, well. Awesome. He didn't heal up quite as much this time, but let's uh, do some more mistake on him. Oh, fuck. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. Uh, uh, oh wow. Um, yeah, let's heal first. I also need to... Um, get some more energy to cast mistake because we're running out of magicka that's okay uh, yeah oh wow thought that would have done more well maybe it's because you just cast it Okay-ish, I guess. I'm just using Mystic until our uh, special skills are up again. No, don't do it again. Ah, really? Bastard. No. Also, it takes so long, the animation. And meanwhile, I'm just waiting. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um. Oh. Uh. Heal. And heal. I mean healing because that thing did like two thousand and a bit damage or so, or two thousand, and that's basically two hits. So if she, if she gets hit with that, she's twice, then she's dead. Right, let's do this. And okay, I think he's going to walk to the last chest now. Yep, not yet. It's okay, we can deal with this. I think the first time I played this, I really wasn't prepared for uh, the damage and I didn't heal right after he does it so like I say two hits on Sarah but I still have to I mean same thing and she would have been dead but this is the bad one dear lord That does look cool, but again with the healing. And try to slow him down again a bit so he doesn't attack quite as often. Uh, no, 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 not again. Wait for it to be over. Alright, I'm going to uh, cast this on him and heal the. Uh, hopefully, they'll slow him down enough that he doesn't attack straight away and we can get a second hit in and heal Boot before he does the next attack. Hopefully. That's my plan, at least. As long as one of them stays alive and manages to heal. So, yeah, that seems to have worked. Basically, at the moment, we're just trying to stay alive until we get our special skills back up. Oh, that is uh, pretty bad. Oh. I can't remember. Do oh, okay. Because of the order. Fair enough. Alright. And then now, I need to heal Stiletto. And then... Uh, cast another slow march, so I'm going to have boots heal her. And, uh, yeah, whatever. It's it's not for damaging. It's more to just make sure that he's not continuously casting. Just to give us some breathing room. Right, let's uh, shoot them in the face. Probably won't kill him straight off, but we'll see. Yes, he did. Awesome. Awesome. Leveled up again.
feel better? Do you? You did the right thing. Grab the stone and let's have a party. You've just saved the universe, kiddo. This what you're looking for? There's one last thing we have to do before this story can draw to a close. We must destroy the keystone. Only residual cross-dimensional energy from the Echo Gate can melt it down. Okay, so where's the Echo Gate? I should have known. The fountain. It's currently in its closed state. We're going to make sure it stays that way. Someone must take the keystone, walk across the catwalk, and drop it into the fountain. How about Grumpos? You found it. You throw it in. I ain't touching that thing. Coward. Wuss. Give me that. I've been waiting 60 years for this. Don't mess up. And don't look down. I get all these mistook if he falls in. Oh my god. Such a great cutscene. Thankfully the game is nice enough to fully restore this soul uh, stuff after the data fight. Right, this was a puzzle. I remember that much. I can't exactly remember what it entailed though. So I know each of these balls do the damage that the corresponding mystic would do so yeah she's poisoned and on fire that's great um, you start out with three you have to you have to basically um, kill the light ball thing and then take its place so that it can't respawn except I can't remember what uh, so I can't do that, but I will. I will unpoison her. Huh? Can't do that. No, she can't see her. Uh, 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 slow 
strike on the one in front of yeah the green let's see what that does I want to keep the freezing one in the game for now yeah that works uh, but I'm going to concentrate on this green one for now if we could take I don't want to use her because if I, well, I might as well. Uh, actually, I'm going to make her heal her. Right. So the trick is, this ball will respawn around after it's been destroyed, I think. So, if I know I'm going to be destroying it, I need to have a row available to move into that spot immediately. Because otherwise it'll just respawn after do it all over again. If I remember correctly. I hope I do. Let's see. I have no idea how much health these things have either, so... Yeah. I think it's an interesting um, fight. The first time I played this I had no idea what I was meant to do and it took ages for me to figure out. Like I said, I don't want to use her in case... That's the, that's the problem, isn't it? <laughs> In case I destroyed it. Oh shit, that's a bad one, I remember that. It's gonna do like pure damage. Ah, I shouldn't have waited so long. Kind of messing up here, but hey. Oh, I'm going to tap that green one, see if that does it. I hope it does. And then someone else will take Rose's place and we'll do the whole thing over again. Oh, that didn't really do that much damage, did it? But, yes, so move there. And she's out. Tagged in is... Democritus. Oh, shit. Uh, I want to take out... What is Democritus fight? He's frozen. But he can be unfrozen. I, uh, I can't see him. Fuck's sake. Right, um, that's bad. So I'm gonna freeze. Uh, what's Democritus in front of the purple one? Yeah, let's take out the purple one. I'm also going to heal. Oof. Frozen. They're all frozen. I need to unfreeze the letter next. And, um. Right. I have to say. Right, so. Heal her. So he's. Is that slowed? Yeah, he's slowed. I can unslow him with stiletto. I need to unfreeze her first. She's frozen and on fire. That's that must hurt. <laughs> right, so we're gonna unfreeze her. Ah, oh, stop hitting the world. And then she can unslow the world, uh, the Mokotus. I know it's not the world. Right? Uh, no. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, see, I don't want to lose boots as a fighter. That's that's the whole issue, isn't it? The freezing one is one of the more annoying uh, mistakes they've got. 
But I don't want to take boots out of the fight. I guess I don't have to if I move boots and stiletto. Although I don't know if you can, I've never tried that before. And meanwhile, my team is getting slaughtered, so I'm just gonna take care of that first. I'm overthinking this. Let's just, uh. Let's just take the freezing one out because it bothers me, it bugs me. The slow one, at least you get some turns, but the freezing one completely stops all of your possible turns for a while and it's super annoying. The other one I'm going to hate is that yellow one. I want to take that out as soon as I can as well. So I'm just going to go for that. Yeah. Going to heal Stiletto again. Oh no, now Democritus and Stiletto are frozen. Oh. Right, so I'm going to take out. I don't know who will be the next one to spawn in, whether it will be Pal or um, Paco. I'm going to tap that freezy one because it just... Ugh. Like I can deal with everything else, like health draining and slowing, but freezing is just too annoying. nothing I can do about it. Well, he's dead, basically, right? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, <laughs> Lucky. I really thought that he was going to die. Anyway, so Stiletto's unfrozen now. Let's hope it stays that way for a bit. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I didn't notice it was gone. Ah, well, let's take it out again. I, I honestly didn't see that. It's all these weird angles, and I wasn't really. I was paying more attention to Democritus losing his health, to be honest. Um, probably was a, a good call to heal him, because he wouldn't have lasted much longer than that. And I can move in now. And we tagged in Paco. Awesome. Right. Uh, I'm taking out. Uh, I'm gonna take Democritus out of the fight. Yeah. Oh, he's still frozen. I don't know if I can move him in. That's a shame. We'll see. I've got so much healing stuff. I don't think I ever use the Time Minder tier in battle in this playthrough. Didn't he use Thingy? Didn't he use the Firestorm? Yeah, he's using it now. I wish I could unfreeze the Mopitus though. Might be a bit overkill. Throwing a meteor on that. It's gone! No! No! Um, I wish I could unfreeze him. There's nothing I have that can do that. Oof. Let's just... Myself. At least, like, as soon as he's unfrozen, he won't be able to be frozen again. So we can take out that purple ball again and move him in. It's 
better. Fine, fine. It'll be fine. Oof. I think I'm going to cast. Oh. I was just going to cast haste on Paco, and now he's been slowed. So I, just, I, f I keep forgetting. There's someone in between. You can't do it. Uh, uh, in that case, I will heal the box. Oh, should have probably healed Paco instead. Oh well, he he's fine. <laughs> Look at how big he is. Right, heal yourself. Oof, that's painful. Why doesn't Democritus unfreeze? This is worrying me because I have no way of unfreezing him myself. And I hope that taking out the freeze block bolt didn't cause him to be in some sort of glitchy perma-free state because that would basically make this fight unwinnable. Um, so what I'll do instead is I'll take out... What if I... Uh, I'm, I'm going to... Oh, I slowed again. I'm going to take Stiletto out of to fight now. I really hope that taking that freeze bolt out of the fight didn't cause a perma freeze thing because that's so terrible. Um, yeah, let's do it. I am really worried about this freezing status. It honestly, it, it looks as if he's he's not going to break out of that, and that is terrible. Because, like I said, this fight is unwinnable. In order to win, all of these need to be filled and. I won't be able to do that if Democritus can't move. Oh! I thought of a solution. It's not optimal, but it's probably the best I can do. And uh, yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to... Yeah, I know I'm going... I'm going to let him die. Sorry, Democritus, but... You're useless to me as it is. So I'm gonna heal Paco because he can't die. I need to have at least two of them alive. Uh, but I'm just going to wait until Democritus dies and then revive him. So I hope he concentrates most of his fire now on Democritus because ah, I said Democritus. I want Democritus to die. Because once he's died, the status effects will be removed. At least, I think so. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to heal my stiletto and Paco with meh and wait until Democritus dies. It's a shame there's no way for me to speed up that process. But. Good. Okay, Paco, what have you got? 
there's no point in doing any any sort of damage, just heal stiletto. I mean, I could have Paco and Stiletto take out each other's fireball or something, but uh, I'm just going to wait until Democritus dies, then revive him, and then um, do it properly. Oh, he's no longer frozen. Oh my god. I didn't notice. So he doesn't have to die. Sorry, Democritus. <laughs> I really thought that he was stuck. Because it seemed that Stiletto's um, fro freeze uh, actually didn't take quite as long to wear off. Anywho, so, good news. He's slowed though, so we probably just don't want to use him until we take out his, uh, his uh, purple light thingy. Also, as you say, that last cutscene, the one where Grumpus is revealed to be working for the dark side is so amazing I love it the first time I played it I, I honestly had no idea that he was going to betray me like, none at all he can't move? oh fuck's sake it was so well done. Okay. And also, I will miss Detta. I like the way his toupee bounced up and down as he ran. And the way he didn't even drop his cigar when he was falling down a building. <laughs> That's dedication. All right, so uh, let's heal some people now. Eh? Uh, there we go. Now, I did something very wrong. Um, no, not entirely wrong. I mean, I can sort of deal with it, but... I just realized, I remembered that there was a thing about taking out specific shapes of the light things. And here it is. Um, Pal won't be able to damage stilettos and stiletto won't be able to damage pals. So, I'm basically going to have to use Paco to take out stilettos and then them doing each other's because it, yeah, it's unfortunately how it will be. Um. I just want to wait until this guy is full. Okay, uh, Proxima Punch, the blue one. <gasps> <laughs> All right, I I can't remember that animation. So that yeah, that was enough to take it out. Oh, I want to see where I'm going to run. Stupid. Uh, yes, that one. Done. All right, now comes the tricky part. I think I'll. Uh, Take out pals next. Uh -uh. <laughs> hmm. The problem is that Paco is still slowed. So I might actually take out Paco's first. Oof. Because they say Paco uh, Paco is still slowed. 
I've got plenty of these healing things. I've got far too many of them. Um, yeah, yeah. Stop it. Um, right. Because he's slowed, so... Oof. Now, if I can do damage to both of them at the same time, that that would be ideal, wouldn't it? Um, but I think the only thing I have that does damage to both of them is Paco's uh, special skill. I'm just having to... I'll try it, um, it's going to be a problem because Paco obviously is slowed so I don't think he'll be able to actually get in there before it respawns but hey, hey hey, uh, it's not actually, they're not actually um, dead. again. Oh, Paco's no longer slowed. That is amazing. So hopefully... Crazy. I can't believe you're going after those things. I'm serious, Boots. I can't let you do this. Weren't you the one telling me to get off my butt just a few weeks ago? There's a difference between getting a job and throwing away your life. I've never felt this strongly about anything. I have to do this. What makes you think you can save the universe when you couldn't even save me? I'm sorry. You all set? Don't worry. I'll make things good. Ready to hit the road, partner? You betcha, Mr. Boots. Sly.
We all decided we want to be there when you get yourself killed. <laughs> then let's do it. Let's get some breakfast. And as a new adventure starts, one we sadly have to play in our head movies, because there never was a sequel. But yeah, of course I won. One of my favorite games, hilarious, and <laughs> see a long time coming. They should put that down if they ever do decide to make a sequel. It's like an even longer time coming. Um, one of my favorite games of all time um, just because of its general atmosphere the fact it's a sci-fi RPG um, and the, the hilarious dialogue and writing in it amazing voice acting as far as I'm concerned although I am not a great judge of that because I have bad taste but anyway if you yeah if you like RPGs just get it and hassle people online about making a sequel because it should exist it should beautiful anyway done final no sequel sadly so funny though I'm just going to run the credits because all these people need need credit for the amazing work they've done. Ah, the Crapton narrator. Who can forget? Good times, good times. Yeah, I'm just going to wait until the credits are done. Also, another mention, the music, just amazing, amazing music. Uh, also in that uh, cutscene where the Chitagra finally are revealed and they burst out all to an Akronox, that's one of my very favorite songs in the entire game. It's so evil sounding. It, it fits the theme of chaos, I think, the dissonance and things like that. Well done, well done. Now am I going to stick with the whole credits? I have no idea. I don't know how long they are. They are long. Should be a way to speed them up a little bit.
that's the last of it. <laughs> a five hour long game. I think I took a bit longer than that. A bit. But yeah, sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> You did finish in five hours, didn't you? That glowing green guy in Center Station, you did talk to him, right? Ah, credit gags. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> See, even the credits are funny. Thank you for making it. Not thanks for never making a sequel, though. <laughs> this is all lies. All of it. Lies. Just like the sequel. If they ever do make a sequel, I do hope it would be the same or as much the same as possible team that does it. Because obviously, it was just the whole concept of it being great. Not just a single part of it. It's not just the writing. It's it's the, the whole design of the, the look of it and just everything. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm just going to keep running these credits until it stops. It's probably the last bit. Probably. Bye. Ah, uh, finally. Ah. Uh. Got you. No, it really is the end. There's really nothing coming because they never made the sequel. Never. See, the just kidding is just kidding. <laughs> no, I have no friends and family anymore. What? I wonder how long this goes on for. I don't remember if I ever saw the whole thing. I'm guessing this is the end. It's like one of those phone calls where you go, bye, no you, bye, bye. Like saying goodbye to a best friend. Ah well. Goodbye. Oh. Ah, there was more coming. <sighs> now I really don't know when to quit. When? Will something for real pop up? <laughs> I'm thinking the credits will just roll again now. Probably. <laughs> Good lord. And And... <laughs> Done. I'm pretty sure it just turns the same thing now again. Let's hope. I'm not going to sit through it again. So, goodbye! Mm -hmm.